Hey YouTubers, how's it going? It's me again. So happy National Fruit Cake Day. So I got a video for you. It's from Ozana. So it's a Zelda fruit cake. So if you're a Zelda fan, you should check out the Zelda fruit cake. So I'm gonna put you in a video right now so you guys can enjoy it. Okay, nerdy nummies from Rosanna. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. I got so many requests to make something from the video game Zelda Breath of the Wild, so that's exactly what I'm going to do today. Today we are going to be making the royal family's fruitcake recipe. You received this quest from a man whose ancestor was a chef for the royal family, and it is his lifelong dream to taste one of his family's recipes. So, we got to sneak into the castle, spank this guy with a leaf if you want, go into the library and find the royal family's recipe. Ooh, look at all these recipes. Yum, 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 yum. Then go back to the beautiful man and bake the cake. And I thought it was the perfect recipe because it's a fruit cake and I absolutely love making baked goods with fresh fruit in them. It is delicious. So today we are going to be making the royal family's fruit cake. Let's get started. The things you'll need to make this fruit cake will be six eggs, one cup of sugar, plus an additional quarter cup of sugar, half a cup of water, half a cup of oil, two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of almond extract, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of baking powder. Now let's put it all together. The recipe that we're making today is a vanilla chiffon cake, very fancy. And the first step is to separate our egg whites from our egg yolks. So we want all of our whites over here and all of our yolks over here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Now to the bowl with the egg yolks, add one cup of sugar and whisk it up a little bit. This would be the sweetest omelet you have ever eaten if you threw this on the grill right now. Then add the rest of your wet ingredients. Vegetable oil, water, vanilla extract, and almond extract. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Then gently whisk together until well combined. I've set the egg mixture off to the side. Now, in a large mixing bowl, add your dry ingredients minus the smaller amount of sugar. We're still saving that for later. I'll show you. Once the dry ingredients are ready, time to add in our egg mixture. Ooh. Whisk together until you can't see any more of the dry ingredients. This is a good arm workout. I will say though that this is easier than sneaking into the Hyrule Castle and into the library because at the time that you do it in the game, you know, it's under the bad guy's influence so you gotta be real stealthy. To make our meringue, I've got a large bowl. Transfer our egg whites into the bigger bowl. Using an electric hand mixer, mix the egg whites until they're frothy. It will look really bubbly. To add our sugar, we're using the smaller measurement. Slowly rain it in. And by rain, I mean make it rain while you mix but drizzle, like every day in Seattle. You want to mix your meringue until you get a soft, stiff peak. Final step to making the batter, fold your egg whites in three parts into the egg yolk batter mixture. And if you've never folded before, it's not mixing my, oh, oh that's okay, that happened, that's all right. I'll just put it back in here. I worked hard for that meringue. I'm gonna put it back in the bowl, I'll eat it. You want to be a little bit more gentle to keep from knocking the air out of the meringue. Scoop underneath the bowl, fold over and turn. This is a cake that takes a lot of love. It takes a little time. So if someone makes this cake for you, you know they love you a lot. Batter is ready, time to pour into our pans. In front of me, I have two round eight inch pans. I've sprayed the bottom and lined with a piece of parchment paper. Pour this evenly between the two pans. Be careful because so much love went into making this. Okay, jump over here. Now the cakes are ready to bake. Heat your oven to 350 degrees and bake for 30 minutes. Also, just a side note, the cakes are gonna rise very tall for this recipe and then once they cool, they'll sink back back down. So don't worry, don't freak out. That's supposed to happen with this recipe. While they're baking, I'm gonna show you guys this sweater. How cool, it looks like Link. It looks like his costume. Well, it's not his costume, it's like 
his everyday wear. Look, it has a little, the hoodie is Link's hat. Spoiler alert, it's a shield on my back. After your cakes have baked, give them plenty of time to cool. I've also leveled each of them and set them over here because we are going to assemble and decorate. Over here, I have a bunch of fresh fruit that I'm going to use to decorate and fill the cake so it looks like the image from the video game. We have strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, a little orange, a little lime, and a honeydew melon. We'll start with the strawberries. Cut off the top and cut into four slices. Take the first layer, I'm placing it on a turntable to make frosting a little bit easier. In the piping bag, I've got some whipped cream. Ice a thin layer on the top, very thin. It's just for our strawberries to stick. Shingle your strawberries into two rings. We'll start with the outer layer and work your way all the way around the cake. Now make a smaller ring right in the middle. Once your strawberries are placed, time to add some more whipped cream to keep them in place. Starting in the center, fill it up, then Fill the ring ooh, in between the two strawberries and on the outside. Once you've got it filled in, pipe a thin layer over the whole cake, but be very careful. We don't want to move the strawberries. Now add the top of your cake. Flip it upside down so it will be nice and smooth. And then gently press down. Pat, 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 pat. Now frost the entire cake with whipped cream. And I have some extra strawberries over here, so these are going to be my little snacks as I continue to decorate. Now frost the sides. Go all the way around and work your way up, then smooth it out with a spatula. And another snack for my dog. While the cake is chilling in the fridge, we will prepare the rest of our fruit, starting with our orange and lime. We want orange wedges and lime slices. Oh, that smells good. Oh, that smells so good. To make melon balls, first step, cut your honeydew melon butt to butt. Remember the end and where the stem is. Take a spoon and scoop out the middle. We don't need it. Once you got your melon, you're going to use a Parisian scoop or a melon baller. There's two sizes here. I'm going to go with the bigger size. Down and around. Boop. And there you go little ball of melon. I love when they have fancy brunches and they have melon balls because I'm like, oh, 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 oop, here. Once you've got all your fruit ready, pop your cake out of the fridge. I've already cut a slice. I wanted to cut a slice and show you how to decorate one because I wanted it to look exactly like it does in the video game. For a cake this size, you'll want to cut it into six slices. That will look the closest to the video game. Again, in a piping bag, I have some more whipped cream with a number 824. It's just an open star tip and we're going to pipe three rosettes. Then each slice gets an orange, goes in the back, a little lime wedge right in front, one melon ball towards the front of the cake, like this, then one raspberry by the melon ball, and three blueberries. And ta-da! There you have it. Here is the fruitcake from Zelda Breath of the Wild using the royal family recipe from the library, of course. I'll be posting a bunch of pictures and the recipe on rosannapantino.com, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can check them out there. And if you guys make this cake, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes me happy. It makes my day. And if you have any other ideas for any other nerdy memories, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. All right, bye-bye. Whew, the wait was worth it. We worked for this recipe. We had to sneak in the castle, sneak in the library, get those sick recipes, get out of there, bring them back to the, you know, the dude in the village, and then finally we could make this cake and eat it. Let's have a taste. Mm, 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 mm. It's so soft. I can't, I can't. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. This is worth it. It's so good. Okay, guys. So, um, that's it for the Zelda food cake. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this. So, if you have a favorite Zelda game, you could comment down below. But if you want to know what's my favorite Legend of Zelda, mine will have to be Legend of Zelda Arcan of Time, which is on the Nintendo 64. 
So hopefully you enjoy this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and click that bell so you guys won't miss any of my videos. I see you in my next YouTube video. Peace out. And happy National Fruitcake Day.